Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat. Welcome back to a brand new Final Battle Royale map change video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a little bunch of Easter eggs and smaller map changes in today's video that have recently been added in. This is going to be an interesting video and I can't wait to get into it. If you guys haven't already, don't forget to go and subscribe to the channel and enter in code Postbox Pat. And let's get straight into this and show you guys the map changes. So the first map change we have is a very cool Easter egg. And it's actually over at the waterfall over here. So there was a clip going around. I'm sure you've already seen it. And basically someone was swimming off here and they accidentally swam into the actual cliff itself i'm not too sure how they did this but they did and as always epic like to add a few little easter eggs in over at paradise pass we also saw someone fall off the map and they added in a gravestone easter egg and the same again has happened right here they've added in a no swimming sign as if you can't swim in this section a new gravestone and a bunch of flowers to celebrate that or remember that actual death that someone had by simply swimming off the waterfall into the cliff over here. So that's really funny. I think that Easter egg is one of the best little Easter eggs we've had in the recent map changes and a very, very nice one. So well done, Epic, and thank you for adding that one in right there. So as we continue to move around the map, I wanted to talk about a few Easter eggs you guys keep sending me on Twitter. Now, there are so many coming in almost daily that you guys find all over the map. There are so many smaller things that everyone is noticing as time goes on. Obviously, it takes a little bit of time to adapt to the entire Fortnite Battle Royale world, and it is still taking me a little bit of time. Even though I've flown around this map probably for over 24 hours right now, I still discover stuff every single day. They clearly worked on this map for months, so it's very nice. And obviously, at Fortnite, they know all the small Easter eggs. But in this part, we actually have this kind of stone area over here. Now, some people refer this to Kevin's stone area, but personally, I don't think it is. But there is another one somewhere on the map. Let's see if we can just spot it quickly. I don't know every single spot. I know it's on the outskirts somewhere. But there is another one that looks very, very similar to Kevin's original format that was in the original Battle Royale world, which is really nice to see. So as we continue to fly around, we'll come across this in a second. But as we're going through, you can see there's a few places that I haven't really explored yet. For example, this small little island over here. We are yet to explore that on a video, and we sure will today. And also, we'll go over to the Creative Hub and show you guys a bunch of awesome stuff over there, which I cannot wait to show you guys what we have, because there is a brand new hub in there as well as you guys know i like to do my hub reviews now i previously did the block review you guys absolutely love that so i've decided to take it a little bit further and now start reviewing the hub to the next stage which is really nice because obviously every single week and every single day Fortnite, or well not every single day, but every single week, Fortnite are going to be rotating the hub out, and you guys can actually customize your hub. Now, there has been a few glitches on the map with people doing that. I'm not too sure how that's been happening, but basically, apparently, if you get a glitch, you just got to restart your game, and you should be able to fix that up pretty nicely. So just keep that in mind, guys. It can glitch out sometimes on that creative hub side of stuff. But as we continue to look for this, I'm having no luck at all trying to find it. But I will have one last go at it. And I'm going to go and check by Camp Cod because that's where I think it is. So you can see we had the first Stonehenge area, which was more of a reference to Stonehenge. But over by Camp Cod, we should have another reference to the original cube section, which is just over here. Whereabouts is Camp Cod? It's somewhere down here on the coastline. I know where you are. Don't be hiding. <laughs> this map takes so long to fly around. That's the only downside to it on the creative side of stuff. You can be flying and flying and flying for ages looking for these little locations, which can be very frustrating. But this is the little Easter egg which I wanted to point out to you guys. So this is Camp Cod over here, but we also have this little stone structure outside of Camp Cod here. Now this refers to the original Kevin one in my eyes because it had one lay down, it had a bunch in the middle, and it also had roughly the same amount around the outsides. So I think this one is a reference to the original Kevin the Cube in Fortnite Battle Royale when he was destroyed over at Loot Lake in the season six event. So that was pretty cool and it's a shame to say bye to Kevin. However, we are, as we all know, we actually have Kevin still in the game over there. So that's a very nice little touch from Fortnite, and I think that's something that's a pretty cool Easter egg which you can tell your friends about and show them the video because it's nice to see. Other than that, there's two more things I want to take a little look at before we go into our creative hub and give it a little review because I thought, you know, there's all these little things going on on the map, and I just don't really sit down that often and just discuss and talk about the latest map changes, and that's what I'm doing today because I thought, you know what, we may as well have a little go because we've not really 
gone through the entire map like we used to, just flying around looking for stuff and pointing stuff out. We haven't really done that. So this one over here is the actual castle. Now this castle looks like it's been here for a very long time, almost like it's a retro build because you can see it's kind of like a tourist attraction. People look like they queue up and they go and visit this old kind of castle that may have been here since day one of the map. This could be the early, early builds that were originally on the map. So this could be some sort of famous build that we just don't really know about, but clearly has a lot of tourists that you can see it's very, very touristy with all the benches and bins. So a nice little feature there. Maybe it's a reference to an actual castle that someone knows in real life from the Fortnite employees, but there seems to be not much in here. Maybe in the future we could see something, but I do like the way the cannons are there and stuff. Maybe even the pirate cannons could return to Fortnite Battle Royale. You just never know, guys. You just never know with that sort of stuff. Continuing on going back round to the other side, we obviously have the little oyster type area. This is something that I've not even mentioned at all. This is something that could potentially lead to something or it's just a complete Easter egg and that's this section over here. So I guess this is like fish sticks army. It's the sort of thing that comes in mind to me. We even have the little, I guess the fish stick people from the song. Uh, that's really cool. And I think that's a really nice touch with the little oyster type shell thing here. And it's like a store, is it? It's like some sort of shrine. Maybe this is their island and you just don't go on this island because you probably just get captured into one of these huts and turned into one of these weird fish stick people. <laughs> I don't know, but it's pretty cool. It's a nice little touch and clearly it's some sort of religious island, which is nice. A nice little feeling that Fortnite have added in right there. Then we also have another abandoned base over here. This one again looks like it's a tourist attraction and part of the attraction. Still got that bench vibe to it with all the benches and bins and even my, one of these things that you put your eyes in and it gives you binocular view on the actual what is that light in the background i have no idea on the lighthouse over there so that's really nice but let's go and give the creative hub a nice review because i know so many of you are interested in knowing about what i think of the creative hub this week as every single week i like to review the creative hub and you guys know i always give them a rating out of 10 you guys can put it in the comments down below what you think of this creative hub and i think this one this week is quite an interesting one because it's actually got a very very nice halloween vibe to it so we're going to go and go in there and check that one out for you guys right now let's go and load up this creative hub and show you guys what we've got on this side of stuff now i think with the creative hub reviews and stuff i know with the block some people loved it some people didn't i think the creative side of stuff and the community out there love me doing the reviews on the block however some people didn't like it now if you don't like it that's just up to you but i think everyone should appreciate what people spend a lot of time on these builds like the block and especially the creative hubs people spend days and weeks building these and it's definitely cool to give them a tour and a rating to see what sort of effort have been put into these as you guys know in the past sometimes we've had some not of the not the best ones i guess if you want to call if you want to say it like that i know some of you out there always like to know what's going on where are we this isn't the creative hub this is one of the maps is it going to let us get to the creative hub the creative hub's just over there okay let's just wind it on a little bit i know some of you guys like to know my opinion on this sort of stuff so that's why i'm giving it you guys in today's little vid let's see if we'll load in on the creative hub okay we're definitely over there now let's go okay cool here we are so this is what we have with the actual creative hub itself this is what it's actually been turned into. A very, very nice Halloween vibe and something which I want to give a rating. So, first off, you spawn in this field of kind of gravestones and all this kind of pumpkin vibe. Very nicely done with all the Halloween textures. Almost like it's been abandoned, which is nice to see. Then as you continue going up, you start to realise that it's very haunted. We have still Kevin vibes all around it. And we also have this ghostly feeling to it with these teddy bears flying on these coffins with this little flag on. That's a really unique feature. They're all over this. So I think it's very freaky to see them, but I think that's what's really unique. The downside to these maps is a lot of people do use Kevin. You can see there's a mini Kevin over here again. And we also have another teddy bear flying around here. I think that's really cool. But I think the constant use of Kevin it is Halloween themed, I guess. That's originally when Kevin turned into that little island. It's a reference maybe to season six. But almost every spawn island so far has had that Kevin feel to it. So that's why I just wanted to mention it there for you guys. Just maybe we shouldn't always get that. You can see, obviously, the back of these isn't complete, but we've just got to consider it from a point of view of being down here. This one has to be one of the nicest ones I've seen. We've even got the tower over there, and it's such a nice vibe to see all this going on. That even looks like an animal, but it's not. 
There's so much stuff going on inside of this creative hub. We have another tower in front of us right there with kind of like a church vibe going on. And these teddy bears, they're just so freaky. I'm surprised you didn't put pumpkins on their head. Other than that, there isn't anything else floating. These are like the guards of the creative hub. It's really nice. That's if the creative hub loads for you. Like I said, if it doesn't load, all you've got to do is simply restart your game and it should load in for you. But yes, yeah, some more coffins around here. These guys are so cool. Some scarecrows. Maybe they're even going to put the pumpkins on the head like I said in my Halloween special. We've got some more cube vibes going on around the sides. Just some really nice stuff all over the map in general, really. So that's really nice to see. So overall, you're probably wondering what would I give this one out of 10? Well, to me, this one's going to get an 8 out of 10. I love the vibe of it, even though the overuse of Kevin in the recent blocks, oh, sorry, not blocks, creative hubs, is kind of big. But I just thought, you know, at the minute, people will stop doing that, I guess, as it starts to get through the seasons when Christmas comes and that, hopefully. So I'm going to let that slide on this one and just let the person get a good rating because it's very nice. I love these boats they've made. They're just so cool. They're like the little ships of coffee, little spaceships that the teddy bears are on. It's so cool. I love the little tree vibe on top of the Kevin Island as well. You can even go inside it, I guess. And there's Kevin the Cube. Really nice to see. And obviously, these houses and stuff, they don't really lead anywhere. But they're kind of like they're a portal. It'd be awesome if they had like a te the teleporter there. They'd take you to the other side or take you to one of these windows. I think that would be really cool. And obviously, Hub was created by Jess Grant. So thank you so much, my friend. This is a great hub. Congratulations to you on getting 8 out of 10. My favorite hub so far. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think of this hub. I really do hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to come and smash that like, smash that subscribe if you're new around here. And for some reason, if you've made it right to the end of the video, you're a true fan of the channel, then comment down below, boat, and that'll let me know if you've made it right to the end. And put your Epic Games name in that comment as well. And I'll be sure to give you guys a chance of getting gifted a skin. So thank you everyone who has been supporting me recently. Much love and respect. Hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to smash that like, smash that subscribe. And once again, this is Postbox Pat. Signing out.